everybody, it's Ben and Beta, and today I want to talk to you about camping chairs. And camping chairs, I think, are something that are difficult sometimes to find because everybody's body is different, people feel different things are comfortable, and you can't always try before you buy because a lot of things are available online and there's just a ton of chairs out there. Recently, a company called TSEC reached out to me and asked if I'd review their camp chair. And I actually kind of jumped at the chance to do this because I had seen this online and it seemed like an interesting chair, but I didn't purchase this one because Misty and I always like to try our chair before we buy because we want to make sure it's comfortable. So again, I was pretty excited to give this a try. A couple things about camp chairs. Obviously comfort's important and if you have a large camper that you're pulling behind a truck or something like that, you can pretty much bring whatever chairs you want. It doesn't really matter how big or how heavy they are. However, for overlanding, it is important to try to cut down as much weight as you can and you really just have to think about how big things are, how much space you have, and also how comfortable they are. And so far this year, we've been using some camp chairs that are pretty heavy and pretty big, but they're also pretty comfortable. But they take up an awful lot of space in our bed, and obviously weight is always a concern. So let's get into what you get when you buy one of these T-Sec chairs. First of all, they come in four different colors. We decided to go with green, but they have black, blue, and red at this time. And then as far as packaging goes, it's a small box. Inside that box, you're gonna get your T-Sec chair, just like this, in a bag that's the same color that you chose for your chair. Also inside the box, you'll get your instructions, and then you can start setting up your chair pretty much immediately. A couple things that are interesting to note, the chair weighs about three and a half pounds when it's outside its case, and about 3.7 pounds inside the case. So it's pretty lightweight, and it's something you can definitely take hiking on a day hike or something like that. Another kind of cool benefit of this chair is that it is a swivel chair, so you can actually rotate it in 360 degrees. And that's pretty interesting too. I like to move around on my chair, so for me that's kind of a nice feature. Also, I'll have links to this chair in the description if you want to pick one of these up. And if you use code BEND and BETA, you will save 5%. So make sure you do that if you decide to pick up one of these chairs. And again, as a reminder, they sent me this chair, so this is a sponsored review but my opinions are my own. You might wonder how easy or hard it is to set this chair up. I recently took it with us on a hike, so let's check out some of that footage and see how easy it is. But let's check it out. So it comes in this nice bag. And then setup's pretty easy too. So one of the things that's important when you start getting these smaller chairs is how easy is it to set up? Because our big chairs, we just kind of fold them out and they're ready to go. This takes a little bit more than that, but not as much as something like the Helinox chairs, which are a little bit more tricky to set up. So here we go. We're just gonna do that. Let this fall open. See the 360 action here? We've got some Velcro right here. And then you just extend these poles. Now the cool thing about this chair, and I don't know uh, if they made it this way or not, but there's actually kind of two heights to this. This is the lower height, so I can sit like this, kind of relax, but it actually is almost more like a like a bench seat or like a stool in this in this configuration. So if you needed to do some work where you're kind of sitting forward a little bit more, whatever that might be, maybe you're sitting by the fire, you want to kind of hang out, you're roasting some brats or some some mores, whatever, right? You might want it in this position, but the cool part again is it swivels. So now I've got a cool view over here. I can see what's behind me. Pretty comfortable. Also, it's got this mesh on the bottom, so you're getting some really solid air. And uh, if you've just been hiking and things are a little bit warm, they'll cool down a little bit, which is great. Then if you want to relax a little bit more, you just pull this out a little bit further and lock it in. And now you've got a high back and you can kind of relax in a little bit more. So super comfortable. We're hiking with some friends today. They're sitting on a log. I'm sitting on a chair and I feel like I'm a little bit more comfortable. All right, so you can see it was pretty easy to set up and I really do like this chair quite a bit so far, but we also took it on an overlanding trip recently. We only had one of these chairs to review, so Misty brought along our big bulky chair that we normally take along. That's about 11 pounds. This is three and a half. So we're saving almost seven and a half pounds per chair. That's actually a lot, and this is quite a bit smaller as the other chair, even when it's kind of packed up, is still 39 inches tall and bigger than this is by far. Both of us felt this chair was very comfortable. Misty still preferred comfort-wise the other chair, which does make sense that it is a much bigger chair, but she said this would be pretty comfortable too. She wished it had a little bit higher back. 
And it sounds like TSEC may be in the works in producing a new chair. So maybe we'll get to see what that looks like when that comes out too. And maybe I'll address some of the issues of like having a little bit higher back, that kind of thing, just being more comfortable for different people. But um, I found this chair to be very comfortable. It'll be the chair that I'm taking with me on all my overlanding trips going forward because it's comfortable and it's pretty small and easy to pack up, which I love. Plus I can take it on a day hike if we wanted to go out for that as well and we wanted to have lunch or something like that. We do have some backpacking chairs we could use instead, but then that's just extra stuff to bring along. So the fact that this can be used for a day hike plus at camp is pretty nice. Again, comfort is a little bit subjective, so some people might find this less comfortable than others, but I would say it actually sat higher than our other chairs that we normally bring along, and that was a surprise to me. I thought it would actually be lower, but it was higher, which was great. I also really loved the swivel in this, as I said before, and the swivel action allowed me to take some kind of cool pan shots while I was at camp, basically treating myself as a tripod while swiveling on the chair. And I like to move around a lot, which is why we have rocker chairs normally, but being able to swivel back and forth was nice because I could switch back and forth between the beautiful collegiate peak views that we had and then the cool rock faces that were behind us as well whenever I wanted. Or if there was a noise, I could just spin off to see what that noise was to see if some deer were coming through, whatever the case might be or where my dog was, which is usually what I was doing when I was swiveling around. Also, I have to say I'm very impressed by the build quality of this chair. Everything felt very well built. All the mechanisms work really well. The springs work well. The swivel is ultra smooth, no problems whatsoever. And the chair is about $99. So that's a pretty good value. You can often find it for a bigger discount than that too, which is cool. But even for $99, it's a pretty good value, I think, for a camp chair that I think is gonna last me as long as I want it to, and is very comfortable, and it's small and packable. It kind of hits a lot of those really important notes, for me at least, in what I'm looking for for an overlanding camp chair. So I'm kind of glad TSEC reached out to me. So it's comfortable, it's well-built, it's easy to set up. What about packing it up? Well, you're basically doing the same thing, but in reverse from setting it up. So first you're gonna hit some push pins, which allow the supports to be collapsed down. Then you're basically gonna tie up the base. You're going to then flip the top back around the feet and just wrap that up and stuff it into the stuff sack. So again, very simple, very easy to put away. And that's the big thing in the trade-off with chairs like this is you can have bigger, bulkier chairs, which you just kind of set up immediately. You just unfold them and that's all you need to do. If you get into the ultralight ones, like the Helinox ones, they have to do a lot of setup and sometimes they're actually a little bit difficult to put together. They're not terrible, but they're a little bit difficult. This is sort of in the middle. It's easy to set up, but it also collapses down, but takes maybe a minute or so at max to really set it up, but it's also pretty comfortable. Again, kind of hits all those notes. So what's my final verdict on this T-Sec chair? Let's head back out to my hike and see what I thought. But for me, this is probably the chair I'm gonna be using overlanding from now on. So I definitely would recommend that uh, to other people. Um, so if you're interested in a camp chair, something you can take also hiking with you, I wouldn't probably take it backpacking because it's a little bit heavy for that. I definitely would take you hiking, and I did. But uh, if you're interested in a chair like this, check out this T-Sec chair. I will have links in the description for this chair. And uh, if you happen to make a purchase on one of those things, it does benefit the channel, and I appreciate that. If you're not interested in this chair, but you thought this video was helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this out with anybody you think would find it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, live your life in beta, and we'll see you next time.